Hey everyone, so a viewer of mine asked me a couple of days ago if I could make a video on Asperus because the, the ones he found were kind of old and I agree. We didn't have an actual Asper video in quite a while so I think this is a pretty decent one to make. And especially ever since Behemoth Freestar released uh, a couple of days ago with the Noctis banner, so here we are. Um, this video probably is going to show off more of what killers to use, what tiles to get, not and not really much on how to get these. Uh, as best you can read up on the wiki about that. So yeah, let's go through all of the Espers one by one and show off how I did level them. Uh, let's start off with Siren. Siren really doesn't have anything going for her, as you can see. I didn't really care about it. Uh, you could make a point of skilling Imperil, because that imperils every uh, a single enemy by 100 to everything. This is a good choice, probably, um, if you need this. There is also a Materia for Imperil, so you don't actually need this. Siren is the most useless one. Um, Unless you want to cleanse or these uh, little things. She doesn't really help, to be honest. Um, she does have a couple of um, resistances. So she has uh, innate sleep resistance and 50% water resistance, which is okay, I guess. But hmm. let's move on to the best next best thing, which is Ifrit. Now always keep in mind I might have um, spent some ores on these units, so your mileage may vary a little bit. Now regarding Ifrit, the most important part is obviously the killer stuff. And he's got plant and beast killer plus both of them and along the way, along the way you will gain the non-plus versions of plant killer and beast killer as well. And I would suggest that you get these things first. So you'd have to go uh, up here to fire, attack 30, 40, 40, 50, get beast killer, get attack plus 100 HP and beast killer plus. And on the same way you'd go uh, in the other direction, you'd go for plant killer. Those are the most important things you should get because killers are the most important things these days. I'd urge you not to learn Berserk because you cannot, or you're very likely not to cleanse it and the unit just auto attacks and does literally nothing unless you want to troll on the friend list which some people are doing currently and I hate every single one of them for that. So don't skill Berserker, you're not doing anyone a favor. Now the next best thing to get on his um, field would be technically the um, reflection boosts, I got one as you can see, it's 20% and 20%, those are more for EP, but it's it's still nice to have. If you have the Esper ores to spare, uh, you could go along this way, the magic way, plus 10, plus 15, plus 20, 25, plus 100 and another 100 for the boost, but as you can see this is a lot of Esper ores you'd have to spend to get this way. And uh, I'm currently focusing on Bayer mode anyway, so hmm. as long as you have both the Plant Killer Plus and the Beast Killer Plus, there's no reason to do anything else. You don't really need the Blazing Evocation, to be honest. Espers just don't deal enough damage to warrant any of these um, tiles, to be honest. So yeah, um, another nice thing you might get is, let's check, um, Barfir, uh, not Barfirega, but Firega could be nice. It has uh, Chaos Wave Awaken frames, could be decent if you need another Fire Chainer uh, for magic, but that's just optional. Uh, in any case, you would probably use a Fire DPS. What's also optional and just nice to have are these Fire Resist tiles. Um, they are at 10% each. It can ma make or break some fights where you don't really want to wear um, resistance gear on a unit but use Barfirega and you need 20% more fire resistance. You could technically get this from these tiles but usually as you can see Ifrit already gives you 50% next to 
the blind immunities, you don't need this, these tiles. The, the most important part are actually the beast and plant killer. Okay, next up is Shiva. Um, she also isn't really that good nor necessary. She doesn't have any killers as you can see. So yeah. Uh, I get her towards or spec her towards the single target reflection boost, uh, ST reflection boost. You could make a case for Bar Blessega, that'd be cool, but if I'm not entirely mistaken, Carbuncle also has this. So you really don't need to spend many resources into Shiva, other than for her innate ice resistance and probably the paralysis resistant uh, resistance. Now, Golem is another one of the good ones. He has, let me check where it is, um, Bug Killer and Stone Killer. So get both of them, they are the best things. It is a 75 physical and magical Bug Killer, as well as a 50% Bug Killer on top of fit for physical DPS, so 125 in total. Same applies to Stone Killer, 75% physical magical here, 50% physical on that side and the rest uh, it's the same literally that applies to um, ifrit as well the next step would be then getting the uh, st reflection boosts maybe the earth resistance if you really want to uh, if you also need to you can get bar stone gar for example if you need to but in most cases you really don't but it's nice to have still so these are the nice to have the priorities always killers first maybe second could be resistance buffs and third option are the reflection boosts but i for one i always find a way to do this without the um gas spells from the espers and get this get it from another source okay but the gas spells in general they, i would actually put them on a second place before the uh, reflection boosts, just because the reflection boost stuff is actually minimal. Next up, Ramut. Um, I didn't even fully spec him. He does have killers somewhere. Um, let me just quickly... Oh yeah, here it is. He has magical killers, magic demon killer, 50%, and magic stone killer. Now we haven't had a magic stone boss in a long time. That is the reason why I haven't gotten it yet. I should and I probably will once I uh, unlevel some stuff here because I got some really stupid stuff as you can see. I got this spell etc. <sighs> the unnecessary stuff so this isn't as well done as it should be. But yeah again Focus on the magical demon killer and the magical stone killer. These are the most important things. Uh, after that, you can get... Uh, let's see. Yeah, the next step would then be the reflection boost because he doesn't have anything else to go for. Okay, next up is Diabolos. Diabolos, same thing. You'd get demon killer plus which is 75% to physical and magics and another 50 demon killer over here and somewhere else he has human killer that's on the top so as per usual that's the priority uh, next up would then be the uh, reflection boosts if need be but I wouldn't spend really any of your Esper Ores with Behemoth out especially to, re to do this. Um, if you like to, you can use Reduce Encounter, but these days we don't really get that many explorations anymore, so Reduce Encounter, it's kind of whatever. It was helpful when the game came out and we had um, explorations regularly. These days, you don't need it. Okay. Carbuncle is our next one. And this one is kind of a wild card because Carbuncle has a lot of ga, bar ga spells. So as you can see, I have bar Blisega, I have bluff bar Fandega, uh, I have bar Firega over here. And is there another one? I also have Reflect, which is going to be 
quite important for Aemon, maybe. And um, yeah, Spirit Club, which is also super important for <coughs> Carbuncle. I believe it's the only killer he has, or it has. Mm, yep, that's true. So get the killer and get whichever bar, spe bar gas spells you need. Um, auto limit is a good one as well. It's 100 LB fill per turn. Could be useful. I'd probably get it too. It's just that I um, spec this towards Heyman recently with Reflect. Okay. Next up is Odin. Um, Odin, demon, uh, not demon, dragon killer. Let's see, where is it? Up here. So we've got the dragon killer stuff. On one hand, is there anything else you could get? I mean, he's got Javelin Arts, which is 20% more attack percent with a Spear Equip, which might come in handy. We also got Sword Arts, whoops, not that one. Sword Arts, same thing, but with Katanas. Um, but really, since he only has the Dragon Killer, you can freely spec this. So as you can see, I actually boosted the evocation damage of Odin, which I think in hindsight is not the smartest choice, but I also got the reflection boost as you can see. So I believe I actually used a few Esper Ors on him, but the priorities again, killers first. If there are resistance buffs, bar gas spells, get those first. And second priority or third priority are the reflection boosts. And from here on out, it's pretty much your choice. Whatever you get, I actually got the evocation, which is kind of useless, to be honest. I am never actually using these skills. I'd rather get, if I were to redo this, I'd rather get the plus 10 HP for fixed attacks on trials such as or Scorn of Ymir, for example. That I also did yesterday with Noctis. Okay. Titan, next one. I haven't fully leveled Titan, but I got the important things. Um, where is it? So Titan is mostly used for his bar stone gust stuff. It's 80%. I got the reflection boost. He does not have any killers, as you can see. So he's much in a vein of uh, Siren, but he's more useful because of his bar stone gust spell, pretty much. And I also got some earth resistance on him, and that's pretty much all there is. I mean, you could make a case for Gaia Armor, which is 20% reduced damage taken for three turns. It's a spell that you have to use, or ability that you have to use. Takes off actions. Uh, it's just not really worth it. So yeah. But still, he's a decent Esper to have. Next up... Lakshmi. Lakshmi, pretty easy case. She also does not have any killers whatsoever, as you can see. But what's important are her protections. So charming protection for charm immunity is important. I'd also make a case for softening protections to nullify petrification. Um, paralysis is also important. I got also confusion immunity and stop immunity. I'd say those are the important ones. Um, there aren't any other options, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Nope. Midi guard. Nope. Nope. That is all that you should definitely get. Um, one could make a good point for dispelling smile. Um, because it also cures Berserk from a single ally, which is kind of handy. So Dispelling Smile would be the next best thing to get after all these protection buffs. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Lakshmi. Next up, uh, Tetra Sylphid. One of the espers I don't really find that useful, to be honest. Um, it doesn't have any, or it does have a killer. I was about to say it doesn't have, but it does have its Tetra Sylphid has bird killer. It also has a single stack of, uh, or two Mirage stacks for one, for, for the caster himself, which is quite decent. It's on the way to the bird killer plus anyway, so might as well get it. So as per usual, bird killer first, 
single tile ref or ST reflection boost second. And um, I would also get Bar Aroga. If you're at it already, that's quite handy to have. But in case of Bar Aroga, you might as well use Gusty Wind. It's also a resistance buff. It's only 70% though, but most of the time 70% is also fine. Okay, next up Behemoth. Uh, he's the latest one and he is, well, uh, he's the most expensive too. So um, yeah. One could argue that you should get Spirit Killer, Magic Spirit Killer, because there is very few Magic Spirit Killers. And Magic Aqua Killer should be also on your high on your priority list. Now these are the next ones I will be getting for sure, because they are very rare to have. So my next uh, my, my next one is going to be Magic Aquan Killer. Then I will follow up with Magic Spirit Killer. And um, what you also shouldn't sleep on is the Break Damage Boost. This is physical attack damage towards broken enemies. Now, keep in mind, we don't have any upcoming trials with the Break Gauge, but we might get some in the near future. So um, having this one is kind of a good option, but keep in mind, you don't need this immediately. So if you want to focus on the killers, that's a fair argument and I would probably agree with you. But you can always respec uh, at cost of 100 Lapis though to the killers you need. But Bayomet in general is super costly. This is the greatest item dump you can have. The Esper Ores, you're gonna dump a lot of into it. Uh, you need a lot of super sites to get this from level two to level three. So this is a long-term investment and maxing out his Esper field, that's going to take a, a, a while. While you may, can make a case that you can leave out the Dragon King evocation stuff. Yeah, do you really need that? I don't know, it's 700 SP. I think they're better invested in all the other things over here, to be honest. I'd, the, the evocation stuff, that's what I'm definitely getting last on this grid. I want the killers first, then the um, uh, reflection boost, and at the very end, the evocation stuff. And I might not even get the evocation stuff, because who cares about evocation? I mean, evocation from espers, not evocation damage, that's something different. Okay. Well, Fenrir, we've got a lot of Espers, by the way. Uh, Fenrir, he's just there, to be honest. I'm rarely using Fenrir, to be honest. Um, he doesn't really have that much going for him. You can spec him into whatever you like. I got the reflection boost because there's nothing else to do with him, to be honest. I mean... <laughs> You could get counter rockets for 30% countering, but other than that, I haven't found a good use, to be, to be quite honest with you. If you have a good, better idea of how to use Fenrir's grid, enlighten me because I don't. <laughs> so let's move on to Leviathan. Who has Spirit Killer Plus, or which you should get, and on the other hand, Aquan Killer Plus, which you also should get. So these are the most important things. Uh, you can and probably should get Violent Current, which is the Flood Chain, if you want to have an easy time training. Flood Chains are very easy. So yeah, you could get Violent Current. I'm always almost at, at the point to getting it, I just need 36 more ores, but since I am farming Bayamut now, that is going to take a while to get. And after that, so priority one, killers, priority two, violent current, priority three, uh, the reflection boost stuff. Okay, Leviathan done. Next up, Phoenix. Phoenix, um... He's got Undead Killer. You should really get this because Undead Killer is fairly rare. Other than that, I would argue that you should get Automat. 
it auto cures ailments using items on hand. This was very useful for, say, the toying with the elf, whatever, vengeful chamber trial or event trial where you needed to automate your way out of the confusion on your provoker. We might need this for some other trial or challenge to come. It is always very good to have, to be honest. But yeah, that's a pretty much all there is to it. So the killer first and then the usual with the reflection boosts. Um, I believe, was it Phoenix Guard that was good? Yeah, Phoenix Guard is also quite nice to have. It is auto-casted, um, auto-revive on the caster, which is pretty sweet to have. But yeah, it's just sweet to have, like I said. Next up, Alexander with his Machina Killers. So here we are, another Machina Killer. Keep in mind, this one is magic machina killer so 50 percent over here and another 75 percent machina killer on the final turn meaning he has 75 percent physical machina killer and 125 magical so leaning towards magic dps other than that um i'd say the divine castle's protection is the next best thing you should get it is a 70 percent light resistance buff to all allies I use this quite frequently in uh, Dark Visions and I also spec into the light resistance stuff. It is 10% additional light resistance. I feel like this is very important to have. You could also make a case to get the Thunderous Light Veil, but at 30% Thunder and Light Resist, I feel like it's a little bit too little. But if you also want the Lightning Resistance, that's pretty sweet, but not necessary. I'd argue light resist because it's 20% total is the better choice combined with Divine Castle's protection after you get the killers. Okay. Up next, Anima. Uh, Anima, let me see. There was no killer over here, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. So Anima, I'd say Enshrouded by Darkness, the 70% all party members resist for dark is very important i use this very often in dark visions auto limit is quite handy to have with 100 auto fill every turn and other than that it's actually up to you now if i were to respec anima i would get lb damage boost as well for the five percent increased lb damage this sounds like it's very little but every bit helps if you're using anima anyway but i feel like enshrouded by darkness is the most important thing for dark visions and um, other trials outer limit is just equally as good i'd say and as a third priority i'd probably get the lb damage boost before i get the resistances but i'm just not really feeling it to spend 100 lapis to respect this okay almost done ashura is next well, Ashura is pretty much the same thing as is uh, Behemoth. You do want pretty much all her tiles eventually. And uh, yeah, the most important things are um, not that one. The Man Eater thing, the Man Eater tile for 50% physical damage against humans. Same applies to the Magic um, Man Eater tile. And actually, the rest is up to you. Um, auto limit is nice to have. I'd get it for the additional 100. But yeah, the rest is. Eh, you can do this sometime later, I feel like. Okay, and lastly, Koku Ryu, the Black Dragon. So he's got Stone Killer Plus. 75% physical magical and another 54 physical along the way. Um, there is also the Aquan killer, 75 magic physical and another 54 physical aquatics. So don't sleep on that. These are the most important things. And the next one to get would be the single or the ST reflection boost. He also has Sword Arts, 20% equipped with Katana and Bow Technique, 
30% attack when equipped with bow. But I'd keep them for last because, eh, whatever. He also has a, let me, was it Cursed Current? Actually, nope. Um, wasn't it Violent Current? Let me see. Oh, it was Flood. No, it wasn't Flood. I should have looked this up earlier. Mm. Oh, it is. It is Cursed Current, I believe. Or is it? No, it should be. Because I know you usually chain. So it's either Flood or... No, it's a single hit. So it must be Cursed Current and Violent Current, which chain Flood Chains. And if you want to chain, these, this is the way, pretty much. If I'm not mistaken, but it should be correct. Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> But yeah, that's all there is regarding the Espers. Now, you probably saw already how to get Behemoth. There is a very easy way to do this. Um, so you go into the Realm of the Dragon. You do the summon. I haven't done the fight for the gold medal. I, I'm not feeling it, to be honest. It's just four hours of doing literally nothing. So, how to get Behemoth? Do I have a team up for this? Nope, I don't. Um, so, the way to do this, pretty much. Let's do the lazy route here. Mastermind Zon, where is he? So, Mastermind Zon. Let's remove everyone else. It's Put in her, Jaego. Someone told me that Jaego is female. So let's use Jaego. Uh, Terra. Uh, T. There we go, Terra. Let's remove Gilgamesh. Um, let's put it this way. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to get the Behemoth. Freestar Esper, because it's super easy. So for uh, to get him, you're not allowed to attack the boss ever. And since we're using Terra, we're making things very easy. Let's use the heal. Yego uses an item. Let's use an Elixir on Zorn. Mastermind Zorn is going to stealth. Terra and Jaego are going to die now due to the, his super strong attacks. Goodbye. Oh, Jaego actually survived. Why did she survive? Anyway, Zorn uses stealth again. Jaego is now going to die for sure. There we go. Zorn returns, hides again. And the fight is done. And that's how you get Behemoth Freestar. Pretty easy, isn't it? I'd suggest you don't use Yego because she actually survives stuff, apparently. But yeah, you can use literally any unit for that. And that's how it's done. I hope you guys like this. And we'll see each other at the very latest on Thursday if there is a Dark Visions event going on again. We might actually get Dark Visions on first day. But maybe I'll have different things to show in the coming days. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm gonna do the Behemoth hard mode. We'll see. I haven't thought about it yet. But anyways, have a nice week. rest of the weekend. Bye bye.